Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Jay from Pageant Trend, and I am here with one of the winner of mm -hmm. Misters of Filipinas 2022, and I'm here with our Manhat Star International Philippines. Hi, Jovi. Hello, guys. This is your Manhat Star International 2022. All right. Hi, Jovi. How are you? Actually, I'm fine. And actually, after the pageant, I'm still nakatulog because I was in awe na maging Manhat Star International, and it represent natin yung Philippines. This November 16 to 26 sa Thai Bangkok, Thailand. And of course, you will be the first to, you know, to compete on the international yeah. pageant mm -hmm. which is in Thailand, diba? In Bangkok, Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how was it? How was How do you feel right now that, you know, you have a short time of preparation for the international mm -hmm. pageant? Actually, um even there's a, a limited time para mag-prepare sa Bangkok, Thailand. Um yung Kasi yung nakita ng Mr. of Philippines ay papadala na sa Bangkok Tail is yung well um well, well built um, parang one stop shop ano siya eh, um full package na so no need no need preparation siguro mga damit na lang or to improve pa kung ano yung kailangan ko improve so that's it and i believe you have also a short time of preparation for the Mistress of Filipinas pageant, right? Yes. Actually, like, yes. Yun yung very short. I have only less than 2 weeks to prepare. Wow. So how did how did you do that? <laughs> so parang magic yun nangyari. Uh, di ko rin di ko rin alam kung paano ko na, na complete yung journey ko as Mistress of Filipinas kasi every nung pupunta ako dito sa Manila from Bicol, actually kulang-kulang yung damit ko eh kasi uh -huh. wala pa akong suit and tie, um iba-ibang iba-ibang tawag dito. Mga damit na susuotin namin from activities to another activities. Mm -hmm. So, um, basta sabi ko, I'm so blessed na binigyan ako ni Lord ng opportunity na parang um, ma-fulfill ko yung destiny ko sa Mr. Swab Filipinas. Nakaramdam ka ba ng sign na okay, this is it. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna get one of the crowns sa Mr. Swab Filipinas. Actually, there's a lot of pressures coming in in my mind during those activities or days um, bilang sa Mr. Swab Filipinas. Pero, Ang one thing ko i-goal is to get one of the titles sa top 5 na Mr. of Filipinas. Ano yung baon mong ano, uh, preparation dito sa ano, sa Mr. of Filipinas? Preparation that I did? Uh, yes, kasi there's you know that there's a lot of competitive ano, yeah? Mr. of Filipinas candidates and uh, and I guess uh, this is your first time to join the mm -hmm. national pageant. So, ano yung preparation na pinaghandaan mo talaga? So the pre pre preparations that I did before joining Mr. of Filipinas to the you are also well prepared in terms of body, physically fit, mm -hmm. spiritually, and mentally mentally fit. Kasi kapag mag-join ka ng national pageant, hindi ibig sabihin, well, well, well built ka, okay ka na eh. It should be um, a full package kasi you, have, you should have brains, um, body, and yung spirit mo dapat matiba eh, no? Hindi ka dapat, wala ka dapat insecurities, kahit may dumating man na insecurities, mm -hmm. kailan mo labanan. Pag labas sa tenga, Labasa Abila. That's it. Exactly. And of course, uh, did you expect yung sa final questions na magiging ganun talaga yung ano yun? Actually, hindi. I was expecting more from the judges. Uh, so, since Mr. Filipinas is full of surprises, iniba nila yung questions. Eh. Uh -huh. So, yun. Okay lang. So, parang yung questions sila based on our opinion. Kano masasabi mo dun? Eh? How was the feeling na, napa na napasama ka sa, ano, sa top? Top 5. 12, and then top 12, top, from top 20 uh, to top 20, 12, yes. down to top 5. Uh -oh. So actually, yung na-feeling I was so grateful na tinawag ako as one of the top 5 of Mr. of Filipinas and awarded as the Manhat, Manhat Star International. So yun. Exactly. And uh, to be honest, uh, talagang ano, bagay na bagay sa yung title na yan. <laughs> sa beauty pala, sa looks mo pala. Talagang pang Manhat Star talaga. Kasi they're, they're looking for like, a Thailand look eh, mm -hmm. Asian yes. look, maputis, parang, yeah, somewhat yun yung basis nila. Kaya siguro ako napili as one of the ambassadors exactly. of this. And uh, hindi naman dun dahil sa ano sa, sa looks mo, and of course, your performance, di ba? Yeah, siguro, yeah. Kitang-kita naman yung performance mo during the finals mm -hmm. night. And uh, ayun, let's talk about uh, ano yung mamimiss mo sa, ano, sa Mistress of Mistress Filipinas. Of Filipinas. Yes. Actually, one thing na may miss ko talaga sa Mistress of Filipinas is the brotherhood mm -hmm. na nagkaroon kami ng each of the candidates. Tingnan mo, biruin mo, iba-ibang provinces from all over the Philippines, pero isa lang namin yung parang attitude namin eh, maging close sa isa at isa and maging happy for each other kung sino man ang umatalo man o manalo. And we respect that. So kung wala ka sa position mo ngayon, sino dapat ang nasa position mo? One thing for sure is that I have 
in my mind, is Kenneth Cruz from Pampanga. Why? Because I think he deserves one of the title. Eh. He was he's physically um, strong, physically fit, and parang full package siya siya. Eh. Alright, so questions for you. Yeah, sure. So you can answer this as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Wala tayong time limit. Alright, yes. first question is, are women given equal opportunity than men? Men. Alright, so on my opinion, women... Women are getting equal equal traits, equal rights as men. I think yes. Kasi isipin mo sa trabaho natin, parang majority ha puro babaeng nakukuha eh. Kasi women are more um smarter, stronger than men kung tutusin eh. Kasi bukod sa stronger pati yung um emo emotion sila mas stronger than men eh. So I think yeah, very equal yung traits ng women sa men. All right, one last question na lang tayo. Anyway, um, what uh, is uh, your unique qualities that makes you stand out uh, among the oh, other candidates of Manhat Star International? I think it's from my experiences. Uh -huh. Because this year is actually my 10th year in joining in this pageant industry. Uh -huh. So, ibig sabihin, parang, hindi naman sa veterano, uh -huh. pero yung experiences ko, nagagamit ko dito sa Mr. South Philippines, kaya siguro, you know, ang Mr. Man of Manhattan, Manhattan Star. Yes. But uh, you to represent the Philippines internationally in Bangkok, Thailand. All right. So best of luck, Joe. Thank you on your Thank international you pageant. And of course, one last thing, na lang, um, your message to your fans and supporters, right. and as well as the person behind your journey as mm -hmm. well. Right, so I would like to thank my supporters, my family, um, for the all-out support na bigyan nila sa akin starting day one ng activities namin sa Mr. of Filipinas until the end of the Mr. of Filipinas. And I would like to thank my uh, fiancé and my EGK friends from Bicol. Hello po. Thank you for all our support. Thank you. Alright. Thank you so much, Jody. And best of luck again. Thank bye you. Bye. bye.